Hey, my name is Ben and I run a used appliance store. And one of the things that we deal with quite a bit in our business from customers is telling us that their dryer is heating, but it's not actually drying the clothes. And if your dryer is not drying the clothes, you have a potential disaster on your hands and you want to get it taken care of as soon as possible. And even though this video is about a Samsung dryer, this really pertains to any brand, any make, any model, because the concepts are universal. We just happen to notice that Samsung's are a little bit more finicky, but the same rules are going to apply. Now, when you're dealing with a dryer that does not dry your clothes but heat, it's important to know there are three things that are factors that allow you to dry, well, your clothes, whatever they may be. The first thing is the heating element in the dryer. Now, if it gets hot, you know that that is working. The second thing that involves a dryer actually drying your clothes is the baffle or tumbling motion of the drum of the unit. And now in most cases, if the dryer doesn't tumble, it's simply not going to operate or run at all. Most have safety switches to prevent even operation. So let's assume that your dryer tumbles. The third thing is air and ventilation. 95% of the time when we come into an issue with the dryer getting hot but won't dry the clothes, it's a vent restriction somewhere, somehow. And again, this pertains to every dryer, not just Samsung's. So let's go ahead and take a Samsung dryer part. May not be this one quite here, because I have a lot of them that we deal with. One of the first and most important areas to deal with on a dryer is the lint filter. Most people know that you are supposed to clean the lint filter after every load of clothes, but you can't really stop there. You want to clean the inside compartment every month or two. One way to do this is to use a condenser brush to break up any caked on lint in the dryer and remove it. Another even better way is to use a lint attachment on a vacuum cleaner to suck up the lint. The blower housing can contain a criminal amount of lint and dust that can obstruct the hot moist air from leaving the dryer appropriately. Next, let's take a look at how hot water runs on this filter as it's a very important point to clean the filter properly. You're going to notice first that there's some pooling on the filter for water and it's not draining straight through the filter. This is a visual representation of what happens to your dryer's airflow just the same. As water pools, it means that it's not venting efficiently or effectively despite the fact this filter looks visually clean. Let's speed up running the hot water. Do you see the difference between here and when we started? It flows much differently and now the water is going straight through the filter easily and this is how it should always be. Another big offender is the vent hose itself. How is it routed behind your dryer? This is one at a family member's house and it's lucky that it's running okay. If it is kinked up, it will restrict air and leave areas of the lint that it could possibly build up and not blow and vent properly outside. Speaking of outside though, this one vent housing is totally destroyed on the outside of the house. Critters and other things could get inside the vent tube and cause all sorts of problems. There's also an incredible amount of dust in the tube. You can use a condenser brush to remove some of the dirt, but really you want to use a full-fledged dryer vent cleaning kit. It's the better choice. This cheap device could save you hundreds of dollars in broken dryer fees. If you have a flexible vent, make sure to remove the kinks from it or any crushed areas. But the best bet is to remove the flexible vent tube entirely and go with either a semi or fully rigid vent hose. This will reduce the possibility of ever getting damaged or crushed over time and is far more reliable for a dryer. Taking apart the dryer for cleaning is also a good idea. Every dryer is different on the disassembly here, but Samsung's usually have the dryer vent that can be taken off entirely with the rear access panel. This lets me get in super easy to access the inside of the dryer. This is one that we cleaned out before the video for one of our customers as we are going to get ready to sell it. But most dryers are going to look horrific prior to cleaning and even if you have to do a full disassembly, it's worth it because you want to make sure that your dryer is cleaned probably every year on the inside at least. Now, if you have a dryer in a basement, you need to pay special attention because your dryer could have a greater chance of lint clogging. Because any stray pieces of lint will fall down to the lowest point and there are usually two 90 degree angles on this setup to trap lint. How bad is it really? Let's find out. I'm going to remove this dryer vent hood first to get easier access to the ductwork using a standard screwdriver because this hood is secured to the siding. The angled vent hood is really bad. This picture does not do it justice in any way because the side I did not video or record was about the width of an egg after all the lint to allow airflow outside the house and this pipe is in a horrible clogged condition. But the dryer somehow still worked. To clean this out, I'm using a cordless drill and a dryer vent brush kit. This kit can handle the entire duct in length, 
but the 90 degree bends can get a little tricky. But wow, this pipe is really, really bad. However, the brush kit worked insanely well, and I have a link to this kit in the description. The top of the pipe work is now in much better shape, but let's get to the basement and do some more cleaning. The dryer's lint filter is awful on this one. I decided to clean this dryer out for my family member because they were in ICU for two weeks with COVID, and I'm really glad they weren't here because this is a mess. In taking the dryer vent tube off, the brush kit didn't get all the way down to the end of the vent, but I assumed this was going to happen. There's an incredible, incredible amount of lint in the dryer's internal vent pipe, and I cleaned out probably a pound or nearly that just from the tubes alone downstairs. The brush kit continued to pull more and more lint out as I ran it back into the flexible tube as well as the dryer. Sadly, my camera didn't catch the huge final dump of lint from the pipe when I wiggled it around. This is all the lint from downstairs cleaning, but the pipes are now finally in great shape. In the end, if your dryer isn't getting the clothes dry, it's a telltale sign that something is usually obstructing the hot, moist air from leaving the dryer and then venting outside. A cleaning kit like the one I used in the video is the fraction of the cost of a repair call or a new dryer, and once you clean it, you're going to realize how much better your dryer is running going forward. Hopefully this video helps you, and again, if you need a brush kit like the one I used, it's in the description of the video if you haven't found a place to buy one yet. I hope this video helps you out, and if you liked it, subscribe for more. Have a great day. Thank you.